Okay, go ahead. Oh, I actually told this to a lady in the post office today. While we were waiting, we were about six feet apart. And it had to do with uh, three does and a buck. Okay. And we were living on a farm. Uh, about yeah. 10 miles west of yeah. Paola Campbell. Yeah. Your Aunt Mary yeah. lived in you. Paola. And we lived on a farm. Yeah. And one morning, I was going to work in the four-wheel drive blazer. I'd already dropped, you weren't in the car, because you were over, you and Captain were over being babysitting. And I was driving in a four-wheel drive full-size blazer, going to work. And going up the gravel road, I saw way ahead of me a doe come across the road. I didn't slow down because it was quite a ways ahead. But then here was another one. So I started slowing down. And here came a third one. So I really slowed down because I was really doing careful. And here came a buck. And it had a great big rack of antlers. Now, these deer in Kansas are quite a bit bigger down in Florida. One's in Florida. About the size of a green house. Trash is right there. And uh, up there, because it gets so cold, we need much more bulkier bodies. So I came to a stop. <laughs> about from that gate to the front of my car. And the buck lowered his head like he's going to charge me. And they decided I wasn't in any danger. And he jumped the fence and went after his harem. So I went up to work. Ray Dorsey's office was right Baba. next to mine. And I stopped and I said, Ray, I've got a story to tell you. So I told him about it. He said, Well, Bill, he says that's what the bucks do. They send the does ahead. And if there's no danger, then they know it's safe. So it goes, gives a whole new meaning when a man says, ladies first. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was at the farmhouse? That was at the farmhouse. That was the... Uh, uh, that was a true story. Uh, I think you might have been... About three, Catherine would have been about five, uh, and uh, I thought my way to work. We do. We do. I, I never thought about that. But, you know, maybe there's something. You know, we think we're being a gentleman by letting the lady go first, <laughs> when in fact we should go first to protect them in case there's danger, right? I mean. Put it this way, if you were going through a door into an area that you weren't too sure of, would you go first or would you send Lydia? Well, I'd go first, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Gia, it's hard to get her to slow down, though. No. But Gia, <laughs> the lady, lady at the post office really started laughing. Aww. That was, uh, That's a good one, Dad. Yeah, that was good.